I guess, I don't know if we should do like an intro, like, you know, the YouTubers do. Hi. These are gay. Yeah. Well. <laughs> so this is a, a, a drawing of Eve and Ava d and characters. <laughs> That's the intro. Just yeah, you intro. unenthusiastically like, yeah, so like, these are fucking D&D characters. Here, let me. Hey, hey, uh, oh, you hey. know what I just realized? Is that, I mean, oh, it's just voice recording, thank god. <laughs> I was gonna say, my fucking icon is disgusting. I love it, but it'll horrify some people. Oh no, I, I'm recording like the whole screen, so I can add your icon in. <laughs> I hate your icon though, you need to fucking change it. <laughs> I love my icon. I'm annoyed with it at this point. It's disgusting, I love it. <laughs> anyway, so our uh, D&D characters. Uh, I wanted to make a girl after, you know, Legolas 2.0. And uh, I'm surprised you made a boy, actually. What made you, like, in the mood to make a, a male character? You'd want to fuck him. Because I'd want to fuck him? <laughs> you did it on purpose? Uh, no. I'm fucking around. <laughs> I don't know. Aesthetic of, um, Averin and Yvette is my it's just my aesthetic so i kind of like pushed it on to the siri or caitlin i'm gonna probably call her caitlin. caitlin so um it's just the light and dark aesthetic is like my thing so when she made avery and i was like fuck yeah i was like give it to me because even in our comic lod uh, <coughs> link in the description <laughs> <laughs> Good. Yeah, I think. <laughs> it, has the, it has the same aesthetics of light and dark where like the boy characters are like broody and like I hate my life. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Except, you know, Gail, other character from the other story, is um, you know <laughs> link in the description. Yeah, link in the description. <laughs> you wanna support us? Buy the merch. Link in the description. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Uh, link in bio. Link in bio. Um, so it's like my thing. I just have this like genuine, this like specific aesthetic that I really like and things like that. Um, well, sorry to interrupt you, but it was a whole dark thing was not really influenced by you. No, I'm I not saying it was. I mean, when you made his character, you basically designed him really. I just showed a, a character's hair from uh, the, the last remnant. Anyone mm. who knows who knows that game, comment in the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> I showed you uh, Rush's hair, and I was like, "This oh. hair, and you're like, okay, cool." And then you ran with it, and then you made his armor design better than I did, which I was surprised. Not trying to insult you. No, 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 no. no. Designs are getting way better. Yeah, and I'm really jealous that you use it for stuff other than LOD. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Um, <laughs> cool. Oh, no, the thing is, uh, I, I thought when I first made Avery, because I realized that when I looked at his original design, I fucked, I, fu I made his hair the way I wanted it, which I do without realizing it almost a lot of the time. And my problem was, the problem was is that I, his hair is different from like his original sketch, which I'll put in the, in the edited video, but when I made oh, his I don't remember. Yeah, it's different. So I liked Eve, and then Averine became what he did, and then we added their stories together. But we haven't really like gotten too, too in-depth. Caitlin has like a really big um, in-depth storyline story for, for Averine. Yeah. And that's another reason why I haven't like got too much in-depth with Eve's because I didn't my biggest fear biggest fear was like me having something fleshed out completely and you having something fleshed out completely and then it just doesn't work and then one of us likes our stories too much to like change it I didn't write anything that had to do with Eve and Ava together it's right. more of like Averine's side of like his family mm -hmm. and what's going on with like his shit 
Mm -hmm. Not something really specific about like M and E. Like I really played with the idea in my head, like, oh, since they're childhood friends, all of you used to like fucking play together. Because he has a sister too, like his sister would play before she disappeared. Now that Eve has a brother, I guess he was there too, but not playing with them because he hates Avarine. <laughs> <laughs> My thing with the brother was, is I'm making him the oldest. I wasn't sure, I'm still not sure if I want to have another sibling. Uh, I'm still working on like playing with the idea. I'm going to keep, wasn't sure if I wanted to do like the, at like, oh, missing one parent like trope, but I was, I was like, no, I'm going to keep both of them. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Shit. Ava's backstory. Ava's, Ava's life is like planned. But right, but like here's the thing that's also kind of bothering me. Is that like, yeah, they're made for D&D, right? Like, does it have to be limited to just campaigns? Because I feel like campaigns are just, there's so many characters in it. If you were to just do their arc, it's just so different. You know what I mean? Like, it just feels like, oh, it's just about them. It's just about them. Melissa, why do you think I wanted this? Like, I wrote my story for just you and Mara. Why do you think I wanted just two people? Yeah, but that be was before Avarine. No, I know. But now with Avarine, I'm gonna <laughs> add him into my story. I mean, if you want story-oriented... I mean, I'm adding him into the larger plot. I am. But if what you're saying is, well, what else do you want to do with them? Because I already told you I'm okay with doing whatever, like, RP or whatever fuck else you want to do. Right, right. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I do, like, want to like just RP them like it doesn't have to be like one on one like I remember you were like telling me you were like we can't do one on one until we do the campaign I think you said what? yeah cause I asked you no. if we could do one on one and you told me no oh, and I God. forgot why fucking bullshit are you telling me right now no I swear bitch. to God I asked I told you could... so long ago we could do one you know what is it because wait I'm trying to remember what the reason was and I think it was because you were like I don't want them to fuck and I was like <laughs> I was like, of course not, you stupid bitch. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I don't remember. Wait, it's been so long. Well, so, I mean, I remember being like, because when I made him, we were just like, dude, I want Eve and Ava. And I was like, okay, listen, <laughs> I legit. <laughs> Oh, we talked about how their backstory is that they were engaged to marry, but didn't want to marry each other, so they ran away together. Yeah, 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 like bromance. I, I legit, yes, I legit saw them platonically. I, mean, I know. Like, oh my god, Caitlin, I fucking ship it. And I was like, okay, listen, we can <laughs> ship it, but like, we can't jump into smut. Because <laughs> I don't know if I can do it. Now I'm ready, it's been a year. <laughs> Well, I was also planting the idea and oh, I planted the seed and it festered. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. okay. I, like, I really, I really did like them. Like, genuinely, I felt there was a lot of potential, especially when we were playing like the campaigns and stuff. Mm -hmm. Especially like, you know, like the scene where like she fell in and Avarine was like, I need to go after her. And I was like crying. I was like, oh my God, my kids. <laughs> But like, you see, I kept trying to play into that, but then like, he was just like super loose, and I'm just like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she was like more frustrating for Avarine, and he's like, no. <laughs> no, literally like, you make it so she wasn't interested in it at all, and I was like, oh, okay. Like, wh wait, explain that more though. Like, what do you mean? Like, like give me an example. Because the last, the last couple times, he tries to have like, I can understand where she was just like, Ava, why the fuck do you want to dance right now? The building's burning. Like, I understand that one. <laughs> <laughs> and she still did it. But you, you were also, like, triggered, so you are just like, yeah, she fucking dances with Ava. But no, was, no, no. Allison was the one that was triggered, not me. Well, you were just like, what? You are just, like, stupid or something like that. You were, I... like, because you weren't all that into having her dance with Ava. That's not true. Yes, it was. No, I, I need the footage for that because I remember full heartedly, it was like, oh, that's, it's, the flames were going. We were like, oh yeah, by the way, they're dancing in the flames and we were laughing about it and Allison was not laughing. No, no, no. I, I was the one who was just like, oh yeah, they're gonna be dancing in the flames and you're just like, oh my god, we're real. Yeah. She's like, oh, oh yeah, I guess. Okay, I guess. I need to see the footage. I need the receipt. Uh, okay. I You'll need see the receipt. I'm right. I mean, you probably are. I, I don't even remember. Yeah. Because, like, there were times where, like, where Eve and Avarine were, like, having a moment. And, like, Eve was really trying. Like, I was really trying my hardest. Oh Everyone my god, the problem, too, is that no one, no one, one cares. cares. Yeah. 
we can't go into our characters because everyone talks over us. Like, I remember when, um, Bug got Eve back, right? Right. That's why, and there was a whole reason where he was just like, okay, hey, you know, I need, I need to bring you back home. But we can't really go into that because everyone else has their other shit. So you just have had, you just brushed aside and had Eve be like, yeah, no, I'm not going home. What's wrong with you? You're crazy. I think that was it. I was yeah, like, see, oh, I don't okay, even remember sucks. that. I'm like, this fucking sucks because I wanted more out of this. Right, like to have them have an actual like argument about it. Yeah, it's just and, uh, it was totally glossed over because everyone else talked. Right, but that's the problem. It's just so rough because it's like it's awkward because like you're talking to me as if you're Averine, but then I I get confused and hard to be like, hey, I want to do like you can't just be like, hey, I want to do a real moment, like you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, hey, I want to be serious because then everyone gets silent and then it's like, it ruins it because then you're like, well, now I don't know what to say. <laughs> mm -hmm. So it's like, it's, it's hard. Like, keep inviting people to play me and meet. Well, it's not. It, we <laughs> kept the same, no, we kept the same people for this entire time. And I honestly don't think it would have changed really too much of the outcome either way. I feel like it would have been more boring because our characters are so neutral that was the whole problem but in the beginning of the campaign too was that we just didn't talk because we were like our characters don't give a fuck the only reason like a lot of shit has been happening is because travis and fucking hylia do stupid shit all the time well that's also because you just had you to the travis yeah what <laughs> <laughs> you had the 23 year old listen to a song. Yeah. Why not? Why not? <laughs> <laughs>